How's it going? This is the Parallel Scare Robot. Went from concept design to final product in about 10 to 12 weeks. So it does two pick and place operations here. Um, first side was the ping pong ball, and then this side is representing building a circuit board. So as you can see here, there's three motors. They are all being executed simultaneously, making it multi-threading. And then, so now we're going into the setup. So we turn it on. We place the circuit boards in place. So there's color coordination and also wording to allow the user to know where to place the parts. And then we place the breadboard on there. And so that flashing light means it's ready to be home. So you put the homing devices in. And then this one homes it relative to each other with the motor so it knows where it's at in the world. And then you press it letting it know the homing device is placed. And once it turns solid right there, you take the homing devices off and then let it know that the homing device is off. And as you can see, when I press that, the blue light turns on and is now looking for communication. So there's back and forth communication between the computer and the robot. So I run the program here. And then once the communication establishes lights turn green and yellow. So I want to run this side first, so I press the green button. And then this is the pick and place. So yeah, basically represents the parts coming in from the factory, placing on the circuit board. It's about a half a millimeter, millimeter tolerance that it places. So the round table there allows for orientation. So no matter what, what where the part lays, it will always be able to find the right, correct orientation with the kinematics. And so now we're going over into this operation with the pick and place ping pong balls. And so there's 54 spots. It randomly selects one of those ping pong balls and places it into those 54 spots. And the idea was this was basically to have the robot indefinitely run. So once it starts running, a user could walk away and demonstrate the robot without anybody having to sit there and reload parts or anything. And then if you actually look at the top there, the end effector does change out. So like one of the things that we had was um, putting a laser light down there and then using the kinematics to like draw out a flower or something. And so it allows some flexibility, even the arms can go up and down. As we go over here, you can see the panel board and then the controls and then that's actually the wireless communications established right there for the project. And then so the top view here, kind of go over the ping pong balls, then there's, look at the movement there with the peril, or the pulleys, it's like one to three ratio going on. And then here's the parts. So yeah, that's the breadboard removed. And then I think as I talked about, there's the color coordination right there. There's even the wording that shows where the parts go to so the operator doesn't get all confused.